I am so glad to be here with you because the, it is wonderful to see so many people together on the cause that we have before us. I am very, very pleased to see you here and I want to say thank you to you. Not only to you, but the people that organized this. It's just wonderful. From, yeah, they deserve it. I don't know where you people in Berkeley got this woman, but we're very glad to have her working on our behalf. And it's wonderful to see them all here today. I'm from the CRTA, CalRTA, we call it. And for those of you who want details about the weapon, the GPO, we brought a brochure with us. There's 3,000 of them out there in the, in the foyer. So you can pick up some of the nitty gritty details that you might want to know about the weapon, the GPO. The vision of the California Retired Teachers Association is to protect the financial security of all educators retired in California from the decay of inflation and the pension attacks by anybody. The 50,000 members of CRTA have been shoulder to shoulder with the hundreds and thousands of NEA, CTA, federal employees, firefighters, police, and postal workers, even LA Unified, lobbying Congress in Washington and fighting our social enemies since the early 1980s. Now the national politics of 2009 could make this an historic year for all of us. This is a broad grassroots movement, the outrage of citizens, and we must be heard in the Congress. So first of all, Let's get the message straight. You know, I wrote this a long time ago. If you haven't got the message straight by now, I'm not sure you're going to get it. But let's review it one more time. This, these penalties are unfair. Let me hear it. Are unfair. Absolutely. We paid into Social Security. We are not asking for something that is free and gratis and a handout. We paid for the 10-year minimum that was required of us. This law is unjust. There is no legitimate reason for it. We the people have done nothing wrong, and the Congress has ruled against us. There are 11 other arguments besides the one of unfairness surrounding the issue that is here before us. Those arguments are distractions. Avoid them. Stay on message. It is unfair. Now the arguments, for example, double dipping, always raised. The rules of Social Security are, yes, 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 we know. There is no money. Yes, we've heard that argument before. These are nothing but ideological posturing. That's all they are. They are designed to waste our time and effort and get us off the message. Stay on the message. The issue is that the weapon and the GPO penalties are simply and intrinsically unfair. Anybody that wants to talk about something else, send them somewhere else to talk about it. The issue is it's unfair, and it is unfair to the citizens of this people. This is not a penalty against uh, corporate businesses or interstate commerce on the global trade. This penalty is against us, the citizens, the local workers, the craftsmen of the democracy in the United States of America. We need to remind politicians once again that all politics is local. And we are the local people who are going to rise up this year and see to it that justice is given to the citizens of this nation. <laughs> Stay on message. It's unfair. Now let's go to the second point. To succeed in this, we need leaders. Boy, some of them are right here. We need leaders in Congress. And I'm so pleased to see on the platform with us, legislators from the state of California and from the great Congress of the United States of America. We need these leaders. These people, and thank you very much for being here. I just want to personally know. Dave. I had to be here, because when they invited me, I can't say no. But they didn't have to be here. 
We are not the only state in the fight for this, this justice. We are the strongest state, and we are recognized consistently as the most active and the most vocal. Our California leaders in Congress on the WebGPO issue are, ex are excellent. They are better than any of the other Congress people coming from other states. I have been there, I have listened to them, I have watched them, and I am back here to tell you that we have good leaders in the Congress on this issue. All right? Now, just as they must lead us in the halls of Congress, you must lead us in the homes of California, and with your families and friends. You must lead us in the streets of California, among your neighbors, your citizen voters. And if we lead as California citizens, then the other citizens of this state will follow us. I'm calling on you today, California, lead this nation on this issue. Lastly, give me step one. What are we going to do to lead? How are we going to succeed in this? What is it? Where, where do we start? Well, that's easy. We already started. Yes. Yes. A rally like this one. This kind of a rally ought to be repeated all over the state of California, especially in Northern California where I can get to them. We need more rallies like this. But I'm here to tell you, if you think carefully about it, these rallies do not actually accomplish what we want. We have to be careful. A good rally, lots of people in the audience, a great band, speakers who speak to us, pay the rent on the back, everything is good. These are good rallies. But you know something? There is no success on the weapon GPO until we get out of this rally hall, until we go home and pick up a pen and write a letter to somebody in Congress. There is no success in this room, none, until we leave here and we go home and we pick up the phone and we call somebody in the Congress and plead for the removal of these penalties. You want success? It comes when you get up out of these seats and when you go back to your homes and you do something about it. In Washington, D.C., with the CRTA officers, we went to Congressman Adam Schiff's office. We, he said to us, keep the letters coming. We went over to Howard Berman's office and the Honorable Barbara Boxer's office, and they said the same thing to us. Keep the letters coming. And so we've returned to California to tell you something. Keep the letters coming to Congress. Make the phone calls to those people. Get to the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi the Senator Harry Reid in Congress, to President Barack Obama. Do you know that in California, there are 52 congressional representatives, there are 40 of them who have signed on, that means there's 12 who have not. Find out who they are and write them letters. This week, <laughs> write personally, tell your story, write passionately. We need to succeed, we need to talk to our leaders in Congress. Ladies and gentlemen, my colleagues, my fellow citizens, you are California. Lead this country. They need you. You know the message that is here. It's all over the walls. These penalties are unfair. My dedicated friends, go. Succeed. And if you do, we will win. <laughs>